Hello. Welcome to another talk from the Old Flyers Group. Over the years we have presented a number of stories about the early aviation pioneers such as Thomas Sopworth, John Moore Brabazon, Charles Lindsay Campbell, John Dugan, Harry Hawker and Santos Dumont. In these early days every pilot was a test pilot. Claude Graham White was such a pioneer of aviation. He was born in August 1879 in Hampshire in England and 24 years of age when the Wright brothers astounded the world. He was apprenticed as an engineer and started his own motor engineering company and that is a common thread through many of these early pioneers. Think of Charles Rolls for instance. His interest in aviation was sparked by Louis Blériot's crossing of the English Channel in 1909, just as happened to John Brabazon. This prompted Claude White to go to France where he attended the Reims Aviation Meeting, at which he met Blériot and subsequently enrolled in his flying school. He was one of the first people to qualify as a pilot in England, becoming the holder of Royal Aero Club Certificate No. 6 awarded in April 1910. He became a celebrity in England when he competed with the French pilot Louis Paulhan for the £10,000 prize offered by the Daily Mail newspaper for the first flight between London and Manchester in under 24 hours. Can you imagine the distance between London and Manchester? Although Paulhan won the prize, Graham White's achievement was widely praised, especially as he became the first Englishman to fly at night. How did he do that? Well, he navigated following the right railway track whose sleepers had been painted white. Both pilots suffered badly from the cold. It is a brave tale and if you want to read more there will be a link in the description. Three months later Claude Graham White in his Farm and 3 biplane won the £1,000 first prize for aggregate duration in flight at the Midlands Aviation Meeting. In October 1910, whilst in Washington DC, Graham White flew his farm and biplane over the city and landed on West Executive Avenue near the White House. Rather than being arrested, Graham White was applauded for the feat by the newspapers. I wouldn't try that today. In September 1911, at an international air meet, Graham White won a prize of $600 in a speed contest for flying his monoplane over the 10 mile course at an astounding 61 miles per hour. In 1911 he established the flying school at Hendon Aerodrome. He is known for his activities relating to the commercialization of aviation and was also involved in promoting the military application of air power before the First World War with a campaign called Wake Up Britain also experimenting with fitting various weapons and bombs to aircraft. During the war itself he flew the first night patrol mission against an expected German raid in September 1914. Hendon Aerodrome was lent to the Admiralty and eventually taken over by the RAF in 1919 becoming RAF Hendon. Flying ceased there in the 1960s when it was then largely redeveloped as a housing estate named Graham Park in tribute to him. An original World War I Graham White aircraft factory hangar was relocated a few years ago to the Royal Air Force Museum London where it houses the museum's World War I collection. Many types of aircraft were built there in his factory. As well as his successes in aviation, Claude Graham White was a published author of 14 works. He also contributed to newspaper reviews and magazines dealing with aeronautics in the military and commercial fields. After losing interest in aviation he moved to Nice in his old age where he died in 1959, having made a fortune in property development in the UK and the US. So there passes an aviation legend. Thank you for watching.